I'm Sasha Andrews and I am a makeup artist in Nova Scotia, Canada and this is my video tutorial for the L'Oreal Brush Contest. To start, apply primer to moisturize skin. I'm going to be using L'Oreal's Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer, which gives a beautiful luminous finish. Then I'll be adding L'Oreal's Color Rich Eye Primer on the lid and the bottom lash line. My model Tegan has a fairly even complexion to begin with, so I'm just going to be spot concealing where necessary, followed by brushing a lightweight powder foundation over the face. Lightly groom the brows upwards with a clear brow gel. Using tapping motions, I'm adding the light aqua color to the center of the lid. With my angle brush, using a deep blue eyeshadow, I want to create a sharp angled line to give an edginess to the look. When it comes to doing a cut crease, placement precision and proper tools key. I've decided to add a cat eye effect for a more dramatic look. From the crease, I'm going to be blending shades of purple and pink outwards and upwards. Next, I'll be placing my purple and blue eyeshadows below the bottom liner. I'm adding a soft splash of color using coral colored eyeshadow to the inner corner of the eye and bringing it up to the brow. Brighten the inner corner of the eye by adding white liner. I'm now going back to my crease, adding more depth using a darker shade of blue. Line the top lash line with black liner. Again, you're going to use your white eyeliner to line the waterline. I chose a light pink blush to complement the colors of the eyes, and I decided to keep the placement high on the cheekbones. Using this L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow, I'm going to apply along the bottom lash line to add an iridescent shimmer. Apply L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in Carbon Black to curled lashes before adding a pair of strip lashes. To add a little pop of color to the bottom lashes, I'm using this Coral Colored Mascara. Now moving on to lips, which is my favorite part. I'm going to be defining the lip using a liner in this beautiful magenta color. Then I'm brushing a striking bright fuchsia lipstick followed by L'Oreal Extraordinaire Gloss in 106 for an extra pop. Now you're going to want to seal your makeup by using a good setting spray to finish the look. And voila! This was my take on L'Oreal's Color Clash theme. Thanks for watching and if you like the video don't forget to vote.